one of the areas that our firm has had the most success in, and I think we've acquired the most knowledge and experience in, uh, is head injury. Uh, and the most people who are paying attention to issues of head injury, concussion, know that the science and public's general acceptance of head injury and concussion has been changing, and it's been changing very quickly. Um, it used to be 20, 30 years ago uh, that science, medical community, believed that you couldn't have a significant brain injury if you weren't in a coma for a week, if you weren't knocked out cold. Uh, now, what we've learned is that that's not the case at all. People, unfortunately, can have permanent problems from a concussion, from one head injury. And you can get a concussion and not be knocked out. You can get a concussion and not know you were knocked out. There is no standard head injury. There is no standard concussion. If you go online and you look at the symptoms following a concussion, it's this long. It can range from headache to fatigue, to loss of sense of smell, to dizziness, to you know feelings in the limbs and extremities, to depression, to anger, to rage, to light sensitivity. There is no standard concussion. The, the biggest thing that we still run into with concussion is the fact that the medical community tends to minimize it and tends to ignore the fact that one or two out of 10 of every person who has a concussion with symptoms is gonna have those problems for a long time. For example, I got a six foot five, 22 year old guy in town for a paintball tournament, and he's hit in the head by a 12 foot wide advertising balloon that's flying around in the wind and ducking down, and it knocks him and his girlfriend, knocks his girlfriend to the ground. He doesn't go to the ground. He's not knocked out. Problem for him, he had a concussion. His concussion caused debilitating headaches every day. He had symptoms from the day of the incident until the day we tried his case, nine years after the incident. But he never lost consciousness, his MRIs were normal, and he was hit by a bullet. And people told us we were absolutely nuts to take a case to trial where a guy was hit in the head with a balloon. Not even knocked to the ground, not knocked unconscious. We got a $1.25 million verdict. The process of figuring out if I can help you with a medical malpractice case is easy. Uh, you can call our firm. You'll speak to one of my paralegals who have been with me with me for years. They know the information to get from you. It's only going to be general information, uh, but it gives us the basic background, the basic timeline, where did things happen? And then that information is going to get passed along to me. If it's something that we think we can help you with, I'm going to follow up with a phone call or one of my partners will follow up with a phone call within a day. We're going to gather the basics of the medical records. Then we need to meet you. Once we've met and if we decide that there's a mutual decision to go forward, then we begin the process that requires expert review, notice to the defense, and ultimately a lawsuit because 99% of medical malpractice claims end up in a lawsuit.